right angle triangles. Like I'm not going to give you um, an obtuse one or a scaly part. I'm not going to do that. Uh, okay, so I want to solve for CD. So I know if it's CD, that's the length. And I saw someone do this on their assignment and they highlighted or they drew a line over the side that they wanted. And I think that's helpful because some of you are getting confused when we're solving for angles or when we're solving for that. <coughs> okay. So I'm going to call this triangle Q and then call that triangle one just so we can refer to both. All right, now the only piece of information I have in triangle two is my angle, my angle B. Okay, that's more than that. I need at least two pieces of information. So sure you need to be in here every day so that you yeah. can this attention. Like, there's, like, this is just a show for you, just that point of All right, so in triangle one, in triangle one, we have the two pieces of information. So what thing should we solve for in triangle one to help us in triangle two? So we're going to solve for the hypotenuse. We're going to solve for this one because it's the only side that shares this triangle two. Okay, so we have to solve for, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to solve for side B. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be the thing that's going to be shared. Right? So BB. So if I'm solving for BB, for side BB, um, my angle of the big top. So what side is 4.2? Oh, okay. And somebody was kind enough to see with you, Abby, who told me that my purple line is big. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. So we're going to use sine of the angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Right? Yes? Okay. And we're going to make sure we have that theta there. Please. Because you got to put it all in. So we're going to have sine and theta is representative of the angle. So 47 equals 4.2 over x. Okay, we'll call it x. Um, okay, so what kind of question do I have with my variable from the bottom? It's a division question. So if you wanted to, without showing me any math, you could hop right to this. Okay, so we don't show, as soon as you know that the variable on the bottom, we know it's a division question, right? So I can do that. So x is going to be equal to, and let's round the two decimal places. Uh, okay, how would you have to do where do you get 7.45? I have 5.74. Okay, well, I'm just kidding. So in, you're going to write it just as you see it. So 4.2 divided by sine. Yeah. 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 Mandatory three lines, yes. What are my units? Okay, is this my final answer? Yes. Is it my final answer? Is that what the question's asking? It's not four. We still put it in there? Okay. Good advice, Mark. Good advice. Okay. So now that I have this piece of information, my hypothesis is 5.74. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go to triangle two. You got it? Okay, there. All right, so now in triangle two, my 5.74, so I've switched colors because I'm switching triangles. What side is my 5.74? Yeah. 
Yeah. It is like a bucket. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yeah. I thought it was my adjacent. So the yellow you sure? Ah. Okay. So the yellow side is going to try to find the yellow. Okay. So what's my angle now? So Jason, I don't know what should I call it. Where do you use that? Why? Okay. Um, the variable, if you use x twice, you've already told me x is 5.74. Now you're going to use x again. And that's going to be a different And then it just gets confusing. If you did this, x1 and call that one x2, I'd be okay with that. But you can't call them both x. It's a multiply. Oh yeah, you can switch seats, right? Back with multiple patients doesn't matter what order we do it. Three times two is six, and two times three is also six. Yes. <laughs> In the last like question, solve this triangle, but I didn't say that. That's my final answer, so I'm gonna box up. Okay, so my final answer has to make sure it's on units and it has to make sure it's rounded to the appropriate tenth of a centimeter. Do we have to round the No. Actually, we should be looking at all the decimal places in the first one. And the reason why is because we never round until we're at the bottom. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, four or five. Depends on what math course you're in. I used two today because I'm feeling crazy and I didn't want to make one. Um, no, unless it specifies something else. Okay, I don't know if I can write on this one. Um, so I'm going to call the little triangle, triangle one. I'm going to call the big triangle, triangle two. I'm just labeling them so when we talk about them, we know what triangle we're talking about. Okay, so the only thing I have in triangle one is the angle. It wants me to solve for x, y. So that's five there. Um, but if I only have one piece of information, I can't solve for that. So I gotta go to triangle two. And what side am I gonna solve for in triangle two? Y, w. Y, w. So we're gonna solve for y, w first. Okay, and what do we have? What piece of information do we have? We have the hypotenuse and what are we trying to solve for? The opposite. So what's your ratio? Okay. Okay, what's my angle? 20. Remember right triangle. We're in triangle two first. Can there be a right angle square? Yes, it should, but probably because it was so small, they couldn't draw it in and still not make it too busy. Um, so opposite side we don't know, so I'm going to call it F. And my hypotenuse is 3.4. Uh, variables on top, so what kind of refer to what? what thing? I'm multiplying. Thank you. 
You guys always do it in the same order? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Am I the only one who switches it around? Yeah. Okay. So whatever works for you. Just make sure you know how to do it in your calculator every time. The 2.8, so I'm going to two decimal places again. I know I didn't put my units in measure, but this isn't my final answer, right? No, absolutely not. Giving me more information is never bad. Okay, so we know that the opposite side is 2.87. Okay, so I'm switching colors now. Um, and what side? So this is 2.87. What side is the blue side? Hold on, what are we talking about? I know, but that's not my final answer, so I don't have to have all of this wrong. No, 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 no. So, see, yeah, let me show you. This is what we're solving for, so I'm going to find it. What's the blue now? It's the adjacent. Because I switched triangles, right? So, I'm looking for the hypotenuse. And I have the adjacent, so what's your formula? Awesome. Okay, variables on the bottom this time. Division. So y equals 2.87 cos 22. <laughs> you guys get that? 3.1? Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Did you get this one? No. no. Okay, so just remember when you see this triangle, the sides may switch, right? So you gotta re redo them. Do you guys find switching color stuff? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay, so just Maybe that's something we could do. Okay, I'm going to hit pause, and you guys are going to do this one. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, never mind. Let's not hit pause. I see. Let's talk about angle X, Y, Z. Okay, so let's start with this. So we start at X, we go to Y, and we go to Z. So what angle is that? That's the y angle, that's the big one. Can't? Okay, are you messy? <laughs> like, I don't know. Okay. So, here's the thing. If you were grade 11, you could do this with one formula. But we're not. So, we're really going to have to solve not just for the one big angle one, we're going to have to solve for this angle, and we're going to have to solve for that angle, and then what are we going to do with them? We're going to add them together. How come we can't do that? It's not a right triangle. Like I said, if you were grade 11, and you knew the sine law and the sine law, we'd be laughing. We could do this no problem. I, I, you know what? I don't want to ruin your surprise next year. Okay. So here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, uh, blue triangle, triangle one, red triangle, triangle two. Which one am I going to use? So triangle two has how many pieces of information? How many pieces of information does triangle one have? Mm -hmm. Guys, blue triangle is that one. Okay, blue triangle isn't the whole one, and red triangle is this one. So, in the red triangle, 
and since you see them pretty close so by, so I can go ahead and solve for the red angle. You're going to need it. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work in triangle two and I'm going to solve for my angle. Everybody comfortable with this? So we're going to, we're in the red triangle. And what side is my 10? What side is my 8? Opposite. So what's your formula?
Wait, you guys learn how to do the graphs that go with these? Uh, 12. Well, wait till we get there. Once you got, what is that? 71 degrees? Okay, does that answer my question? No. Right, because we said we were looking for the whole angle there. So angle x, y, z is equal to 71 plus 53. So that's going to be 124. Okay, so all of a sudden these questions are becoming like I had to do three. I don't think they're hard. I think you've got to stop and think and think about the order that you need to do stuff in. So you've got to be strategic with these ones. Because there is no sort of way. Okay, sorry. I'm waiting. Yep. For the next one. 17 is this hypotenuse. We don't have to find the other side. No. Okay. This one's a little bit easier. Okay, so let's talk about what angle we're looking for. So angle X, Y, Z. So we are solving for this little tiny one in here. Yeah. Yeah. He asked if is it always going to be at the middle letter if there's always three. And the answer is yes. But the trouble with Y is, is it can be interpreted as this big angle here or the little skinny one. So that's why it gives you the three letters. So X to Y, Y to Z. So it tells you there the angle is. Okay, what do we know? You actually have two triangles. You see the two red triangles? You got a little one. You got a little one right here. Okay, so what triangle do you guys want to start with? 
You guys, okay. Well, I'm going to put 13.98 because that's what my math is telling me. If you have 8 on your page, then you should put 14. I added those two together. And they used a fancy bracket. Yeah. Fancy brackets are bad. Okay, so what angle, I guess, what angle am I solving for? Okay. What angle in the blue triangle are you solving for? So we are solving the big one. Okay, so what size do I have? The 13, 20. And what other piece of information do I have in the board? My adjacent side. So that means I'm going to jump right in. Okay, I'm not putting it on the board yet, bro. So no one says